we're talking about the gifted episode three, the gifted episode three guys flashback to a couple of years ago when Marcos first came to the mutant underground and Lorna shows him that she knows how to fly with her powers, uh, by controlling the mag magnetism, she can levitate herself. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, Marcos and Lorna's connections have a powers because he's more of light. She's more of magnetism that matches with the same Aurea Borealis uh, as far as the pose and all that scientific mumbo jumbo is concerned. So I thought that that was cool. I feel like that that's something that we're going to see something see later on. Uh, Jace is trying to get Lorna to give up info on Marcos. Not going to happen. Caitlin wants to reach out to people in Congress to help. Cause, and they told her, look, it dummy, that's too dangerous. People going to find us. It's going to mess us up. You're a part of this now, whether you believe it or not. There's nobody to reach out to. There's nobody to call. There's nobody to ask questions or uh, call your local congressman or your, your city leader to help. It's not going to happen. OK, so she's still going to do it. And of course, she did it. So she says, we need to go see your Uncle Danny. She get the kids riled up. They go ahead and go with her to go see her Uncle Danny, their Uncle Danny, which is her brother. All right. Blink is being trained to harness her powers, powers by Johnny. OK, of course, the Johnny is Thunderbird. And he's trying to get her to realize that you need to focus on something positive and it will help you use your powers because she hasn't been able to use her powers since she was sick in the last episode. And that could also be a situation where they're trying to save money. But Fox has money because she was still able to use her powers. OK, with no money <laughs> and they broke some parking meters for change because they needed some money. At first, Andy was like, we're going to rob a bank. <laughs> he was like, no, we're going to rob a bank. OK, that's fine. I'm not going to rob a bank. Let's just blow up in these parking meters and get some change out of them. Hilarious. One of the mutants has powers to create memories. She was told by Johnny, do not mess with Blink. Because he was telling her she needed something positive. He was like, well, I can give her some memories. He said, do not do it. Of course, anytime somebody says something on the show and says, don't do it, they're going to do it. It happened. We'll get to that in a moment. Danny told her, which is Caitlin's brother, we can, I cannot help you. Meanwhile, upstairs, Andy gets angry about a photo that he saw on on the tablet of where somebody was spray painting mutant, mutant hate on their house. And he got upset and he broke this trophy that his cousin, which is Danny's son, was trying to get him to break just normally. So when he got angry, he broke the trophy. OK, so the Sentinel Service has set up a false operation to get to the mutant underground. They placed an alert out for Reed Strucker saying that, oh, he got he's he got loose. Here's a bounty reward on his head. He ends up going back to the bar where he met Marcos and gets connected with the bartender who's also a mutant who can do cloaking and got con and they were going to be traveling to the mutant underground or to the drop off point to get them to the mutant underground. And he was going to let the Sentinel services follow them so they can get the family out and get everybody to safety. But of course, that was going to lead the Sentinel services to getting the mutant underground, which was not would not be good uh, on the way there. Reed realized what he was doing was wrong. And decided not to do it, which I thought was very admirable of him because he realized he was putting the family in danger. So I'm glad that he did not do it. I really am. I really truly am. Uh, Lorna tapped into her powers to break down the door in prison, but it was too much because she has that Daphne collar and it really messed her up real bad. Uh, Johnny and Marcos came to Danny's house to get, to save them because they realized that they were in danger because nothing is going to go well with them being outside of the house. Andy's cousin apparently sent a picture of the broken trophy to a friend. The friend shared it with a parent and all of a sudden all these guys and guns are surrounding the house of Danny. OK. Now. This is where it gets retarded. I'm African-American. OK. And I know a lot of people relate to the mutants. And their struggles, all my comic book fans relate to the mutants and their struggles just as well as African-Americans have had a struggle for hundreds of years when it comes to being accepted. And we shouldn't worry about it being accepted, but everybody wants to be accepted. OK. These guys pull up. First of all, Andy, he's all like, look, screw them. We, we, we need to go out. And he had that brotherhood mentality. So Marco said, we don't know if the Brotherhood still exists. They go to the New Brotherhood right there. He was like, forget them. People hate us. Let's get them. <laughs> just like just like Magneto used to preach to his people in the Brotherhood. But as I'm looking out the window, as Dan is looking out the window on this episode, there's a black man outside. Really? The black man going against another race of people with the same people you outside with probably don't like you too much because of your skin color. 
But because these are mutants, black people probably getting off easy like, yeah, you know, uh, these mutants, yeah, yeah, we don't like these mutants. You know, black, black, black and white don't matter no more. It's all about humans and mutants. So I thought that that was crazy. Basically, like I said, Eddie said, F this, blew down the door, blew some of those guys down. They were scared, trembling in their boots. So the mutant who Johnny told not to give members to did it anyway so that he could help them. She could help them escape by opening up a portal. So the guys were chasing them in the trucks after they got in the truck. They end up escaping. They got loose. They got free. OK. Blink opened up the portal and they got them escaped right into the mutant underground, closed the portal back. In the end, the doctor that we saw last week that was reviewing the article about the mutant twins contacted um, Detective Jace and said, hey, we need to meet up. I heard you had the situation with that boy and girl mutant. I may have something for you. So we all know what's going to happen next week. I'm very excited about this show. I absolutely love The Gifted. I want to know what you think about The Gifted below in the comments. We'll be watching this on Facebook and or YouTube. You guys have a good one.